Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video, I will show you how to stop your users from creating Google consumer accounts with their company domain email or their corporate email address. If you do not understand what Google consumer accounts are and how do they get created with your company email address, please visit my blog post that I'll link here where I've put a detailed guide which will help you understand everything about conflicting accounts or Google consumer accounts with your company domain. So now let's talk about restricting your users from creating Google consumer accounts with your company domain email address. I think an ideal solution should do a bit more than just letting us stop the users from creating consumer accounts. So when I was thinking about it, I guess we also would love to know who are those users and why are they creating those consumer Google accounts with their corporate email addresses? Might be they have some genuine need. So there should be a system which will help us identify those users. Second, it should also help us communicate to those users or to reach out to those users automatically asking for justification. And when they come back to us with that justification, and if that justification sounds good to us, we should be rather creating a managed Google account for them, which essentially means either a G Suite account if you're a G Suite customer or a Google Cloud Identity account if you are using Google Cloud Identity for Google Cloud Platform or other needs. So I'll break down this whole comprehensive solution in four parts. In part one, I will be showing you how to stop your users from creating consumer accounts with their corporate email addresses. In part two, I will show you how you can identify who these users are. In part three, we will look at how we can reach out to these users automatically asking for the justification. And in part four, I'll show you how you can create their managed account in case the provided justification by them sound good. So I'll be putting that solution in place with the help of email routing rules on our email server along with a few lines of code that you do not need to write because I've already done that part unless you really want to. Are you ready? So let me share my screen with you and first I will help you understand the concept behind the solution and how it's going to work and then I will actually put the solution in place. I'll show you how to configure those email routing rules and how to leverage those scripts and at the end, you should be able to get all of these four things that we discussed as part of our comprehensive solution. So let me share my screen and show you that. Okay, before we start working on stopping our users to create their consumer accounts with our corporate email address, let us quickly summarize how do they create those consumer accounts. So step one, obviously they will go to Google account creation page where Google will show them whether they can have a new Gmail address or they can use their current email address. They're going to uh, pick that option and they will put their corporate email address as you see in the screenshot here and then Google will send a verification code to that email address they will copy that code come back here paste the code Google might ask them for a couple of more pieces of information like the date of birth etc and finally they will have their Google consumer account created with their company domain or corporate email address where they can use things like Google Drive and keep and Google sites etc so we need to stop it but if you look at the overall flow that's the overall flow and the important part in this flow is that email the verification email goes to users mailbox and it goes via your email server so if we look at the components of this specific email there are a few things that are important to us. Number one, it comes from no reply at google.com as in sender header. The subject is verify your email address. In the body, you will see a couple of things. First one is a string that is verified this email is yours. And finally, Google will send a random uh, six digit code that they will need to copy and paste in Google verification window. 
So if we look at all of these components and if we create a rule on our email server or maybe on our email uh, inbound gateway if we, are, if we are using one then we can break that flow which means users will not be able to go back and verify that they have the specific email and we will configure all of these four conditions to avoid any false positive. So let us say based on these this is the rule that we will be creating on our email server and you know mostly all prominent email servers will give you uh, flexibility to create such rule and I'm going to show you how you can create that in G Suite and if you're using any other system you should be able to create there as well I think. So our rule conditions will have four elements to it and uh, it will only be applied when all of these four conditions are met and our four conditions will be if the sender header is no reply at google.com email subject is verify your email address and our email body contains this string which has verified this email address is yours and finally we will put a regex which can detect any six digit code and when all of these conditions are met what actions we're going to trigger. So let us look at the actions as well. We will say our email server to rename the envelope recipients which means if that email is coming for let's say Mr. Conflict account at mydomain.com I will rename that envelope to let's say admin at mydomain.com so that I should receive that email instead of the actual user. I will also append something to the subject line so it becomes easy for me to differentiate those emails than my own emails which are popping up in my inbox. So something like uh, consumer account creation attempt, I can append that to the subject line. And then finally I will also ask my email server to add original X header which means in the to column or the to field it will still say Mr. Conflict. Uh, user accounts email address that I can easily parse that email later and identify that this is the user who tried creating a consumer account. So what's the output? This is the output. The email will come to uh, us or the admin who is creating this rule. Subject line will be changed and the to uh, field will still retain the actual user email address. So with that, now let me share my screen and show you how would you configure that uh, rule in your G Suite email server. In case if you have Office 365 or something else, I'll see if I can make one more video to show you how you can do that on those prominent uh, mail servers as well. Okay, so now as you see, I'm in my G Suite admin console. From here, I will uh, go, I can search for content compliance and I'm not sure why it does not show me content compliance but I'll go to objectionable content because it is right next to where you set up content compliance rule and it might take a couple of seconds to load and by the way I've already created this rule and tested it so I'm gonna show you uh, step by step so that you can also put it like mine so I will say content compliance and here is block consumer and in your case you can create on add another so that you create a rule from scratch and make sure that you are choosing your root organizational unit here so that the rule gets applied to everybody in your organization so I'll click on add it because I've already created this and let me explain you this rule so you should obviously give it some context so that the other administrators in your domain should be able to just read the rule and they know what this rule is doing. Email messages to affect. Now Google will be sending us this email which is outside our domain so any email which are coming from outside our G Suite account or tenant are considered as inbound emails. So I will say inbound and then let us configure the conditions. First of all, make sure that you are 
clicking this one which says if all of the following match the message we don't want them to trigger on any of them we want them to be triggering when all of the conditions are met our first condition should be that sender header either contains text or equals so let me show you you will select advanced content match and location would be sender header as we saw the Google's verification email and let's say it contains text which is no reply at google.com so that's the first one our second one is the subject match so we will say advanced content match location is subject of the email and it should contains text and our text is verify your email address so that's the second one our third condition is advanced content match and we are looking in the email uh, message body containing test verify this email is yours that's the third one and then last but not the least we also need to check for six digit code based on this regex so we'll say location again advanced content match location is email body match type match regex and here is our regex expression we can also test our regex expression we can enter the sample data so for example if I say this is uh, my code as you see it matches as soon as I make a change it does not match which is perfect so with that you will be saving it I already saved it so I'll just click on cancel so make sure that you have these four conditions here now the next step is our action so our action will be that we want to modify this message so we'll click on modify and enable this checkbox which says add XGM original to header because we want to retain the actual users who tried creating consumer account his email in the to field and then we will prepend something as a custom subject so it becomes easy for us to identify which emails are specifically coming from this one so I have put consumer account creation attempt and then the actual subject will come after this but feel free to change it if you want to and then we will change the envelope recipient so instead of letting it go to the actual uh, user who tried creating conflicting account I'm saying that change that envelope recipient for that email and replace it to my admin email ID so you can put whatever email you want essentially this email which you put here will be receiving all of these emails instead of the actual users who are trying to create the account and then you'll scroll down a bit and you will click on show options and here in terms of account types to effect make sure that you only select unrecognized or catch-all and let me put some light on that one Google will only allow your users to create consumer accounts with your corporate email address if that account is not yet created as managed account or unmanaged account which means that account is not yet created in, in your Google admin console and if, if that's not created yet Google does not know it it's unrecognized for your G Suite or for your cloud identity instance so for that reason you will click on unrecognized or catch all here and then you will click on save to save your changes so our rule is now ready so we will go ahead and test the rule now okay so I will go and create a new Google account Oops, create a Google account and let's put some random number here let's say video uh, demo video demo at id.google.com so instead of Gmail I will click on use my current email address where I'll put my email address and I will put my password here I'll click on next and it says the email has been sent to this email with the, the backup or the verification code so I will go to my mailbox and as you see here I've received this email which says consumer account creation attempt which is the subject line that I appended in my rule and then it says the actual subject which is verify your email it has the same string it is sent to the email address that we chose and it also sent us the code and now let me also go to my uh, 
reporting and show you the email log search which will show you that how it matched that specific email and sent it to us so when I search for it hopefully it might have this one uh, just a second let me just go to the latest email 1702 I guess that's the one when I open it yeah so you will see that it appended the subject and it sent two recipients it was originally planned to send for video demo but it uh, renamed the envelope recipient and sent it to me and then here you will see the actual details it says it matched two rules so I'll skip the default routing that's some other rule that I have but uh, let, let's look at the one which we configured block consumer sign up rule and if you look at that it matched all our four conditions because it says source header or central header was no replied Google it matched that it also matched subject line which is verify your email address it also matched our body which says verify this email is yours and the last one which is the regex to detect these six digits code so our rule is working fine which means instead of these emails reaching out to the actual users they are coming to us not to that user and they are also retaining that person's email address who attempted this into which means we can identify who tried to create these specific consumer account okay so this is working fine but it might be painful or you know time consuming if there are a lot of people who are creating such accounts and you know you are coming frequently on this uh, mailbox and just checking these emails opening them one by one to figure out who is creating that specific account so for that uh, I've written a small Google Apps script which you can simply copy and paste which will parse all of these emails and parse this email address so that you have everything in one Google Sheet and let me help you understand how it's gonna work so first of all instead of all of these emails going straight to our inbox let us skip the inbox and send them to a specific label so I have already created this label which is called conflict you can give your label any name that you want and then you will go to your Gmail settings in this mailbox go to forwarding not not the forwarding filters and then in filters you will create a filter which will say if the subject line is our subject and I can remove this unread one and I say continue and I will say skip the inbox and then apply the label conflict and also apply that to existing conversations and update filter in your case you would be creating one so when I go to conflict now it shows me those couple of email addresses if I just go back and create one more let's say video demo one two three four five six okay use my current email address instead ideally that email should very soon come here in this specific label as you saw so we have this email here instead of going it to the user so now all the emails are coming to this conflict label okay now I'm gonna show you my Google Apps script so I will put that script in my blog post so you can simply visit my blog post and get access to that essentially what you need to do is just copy this Google sheet okay so I will give you this sheet URL you will just go to file or make a copy of it or rather I will just give you a link and once you click on that link it will ask you to create a copy uh, straight away okay so assume that you have copied this Google sheet what you're gonna do is in the add-on you will see this conflict accounts manager okay in the add-ons when uh, so and and it has a couple of menu items first one is called setup wizard when you click on setup sheets from this menu it will add two sheets at the bottom as you see first one says conflict account creation attempts second one is email template and um, let me explain you these the first one says attempt date or time on which conflict account user attempted this attempted by which user unique attempts because sometimes you will see that Google sends two emails uh, for the same email uh, address verification so if you you know 
sometimes you will see that there are duplicates in this one and that's why I'm taking the unique attempts and putting the formula so that we can only get unique ones here and then this wall, this third column, unique attempts will have email addresses of the users who tried creating consumer accounts and then we will go to add-on conflict manager and then we will click on send justification email so that justification email can be sent to this user and it will also put this email sent date for your reference now the email template tab here you can simply put your email subject and your email body so that when you send email via this add-on it will be sent with this email body and subject so now let me show you uh, how it works I will go to add-ons and maybe let me quickly explain you the script as well uh, so if I go to extract emails essentially it's just a few lines of code what it exactly it's doing it's calling the conflict account sheet and uh, then it is uh, getting the Gmail threads by this label or from this label so make sure you put your label name here in case if you rename it to some other other than the conflict one that I have and then it will you know get all the threads from this label and then get the thread ID it will parse the email address which is in two it will also parse the temp date or the email date and then it will append that in our sheet here and then finally it will go ahead and delete that specific thread okay so now let me go ahead and click on add-on click on conflict manager and go to identify users and say identify conflict I think I spelled it wrong so I'll correct it after this video but click on identify conflict attempts when you click on that if you're running it for, for the first time script will ask you for a permission I've already run it so it is not asking me that but if you look at that it went to this conflict label and there are four emails 2 plus 2 and it parsed email address from four of them along with the date stamp okay but because Google sent an email twice to verify this email and that was the reason I told you that I'm uh, putting you know this unique formula here so that unique email addresses can become based to send our justification email okay so that's the first option that you can come here and run it but what if you just want to automate it instead of every time coming here so for that you will go to conflicts manager uh, script sheet which you can go by going to tools and then script editor and then it will take you on the script editor click on this uh, clock icon which will help you create a cron job or triggers and the function that we have to extract emails is called extract emails okay so when I click on that it will take you to this screen and then click on add trigger at the bottom here and uh, our function is extract email so we want to run this function time driven and let's say we want to run it maybe uh, every hour every minute it, 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 it's up to you but uh, let's say every hour and then uh, you can say notify you immediately as soon as it faces an issues and save it so what did we just do we told Google that run this function extract email which we were running manually by clicking on this identify conflict attempts Google should run it every hour which means as soon as a new email comes in this conflict label within one hour Google will check that email parse the two email address and put that email here and then that unique reference will be put here that's the first one now if you also want justification emails to be sent by themselves instead of going manually every time here you can do the same thing configuring one more trigger and that will be on this send email function however there might be cases where let's say if somebody does not even work for your company they just try to create 
uh, consumer accounts on your domain you might be sending automated emails to those people as well they will not get it because they do not have your mailbox just but just a piece of caution here so this is uh, where we are and uh, let me now send justification email to show you how does that work so I'll go to add-on and I will click on justification email ideally it will take all of these emails one by one and it will let us know whether the justification email has been sent or not and when was it sent in terms of date so that next time when there is one more email address here let's say if there is one more email here uh, this one it comes here but it does not have justification email send status so if I run that again it will only pick this one because it's the justification status was not sent yet so the email has been sent and it will take the subject and the email body from here so now if I go to my email box you will see that I have these four emails when I click on that you will see that the subject is exactly the one which we mentioned or put in this email subject here along with the body and the signature which we put here so when you are configuring make sure that you change and put your name and whatever content you want the script will just take everything which is here and write that as email body same case for subject okay so if we look at our solution so far we were able to number one block the consumer account creation number two we were able to identify all the users that are trying to create consumer accounts with our corporate email address and number three we were able to reach out to them in bulk or in you know automated fashion so that they receive the justification email and they can let us know why did they need this specific account now number four which was to uh, create their account on uh, Google managed account platform in case of the, the their justification sounds too good to us for that you know you can in the email that you're sending you can simply append a link of your Google form where you can have a couple of fields and based on the responses you can have like a if else conditional statement to evaluate their justification response and based on that if the response is good enough you can call Google's directory API to go ahead and create a managed Google account for for them and for that I have one more video where I did something similar I'll put that in my blog post so if you need to automate that fourth step as well you can watch that video and hopefully that will save some of your time with that thank you so much hope that was helpful if you have any questions comments or feedback do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to help thank you so much